Well, we're here in the Lantern Room and then we've got Pat, the lighthouse keeper of Cape Otway Light Station. Now, tell us about the light, Pat. Well, this prism um, was built in Birmingham in England, or near Birmingham in 1888. It was um, put in here in 1891. Got it from an old lens after um, the uh, uh, French physicist, Augustin Fresnel, who altered the light as the old days it was done by reflection, using parabolic reflectors. With this apparatus, it was done by refraction. It increased the, uh, the light and it trapped the light and didn't waste any light. Mm. So therefore, it was um, much more powerful than the old parabolic system. Mm. And a huge lamp like that, how on earth did they get it from the shores? Well, it, basically, uh, it's all screwed and bolted together. Yes. Uh, the, the three biggest pieces are just here of the pedestal, and that was all brought up by block and tackle. And the rest of the whole lantern room from our feet to the top of the dome was all screwed and bolted together. Mm. Now, the passage, I understand, between the Cape Otway lighthouse and the water is the eye of the needle. Obviously, there's been a number of shipwrecks. How many have there been? Well, uh, yeah, a, a huge number mm. of shipwrecks, but mainly around this area, from a, a horseshoe shape from, say, Apollo Bay, around the Cape to Moonlight Head, there's around about 22 shipwrecks. Wow. The real reason for the lighthouse being built, though, was because of the carnage that was happening on, on King Island. 1835, a convict ship called the Neva um, got lost their way, if you like. Uh, hit the western side of King Island and about 250 female convicts, children and crew um, mostly perished. That set the ball rolling in the, um, in the colonies of Australia and the Admiralty in England that they had to light up the western entrance of Bass Strait. Mm. So um, uh, finally, 10 years later, after a lot of procrastination, um, unfortunately Australia's very worst peacetime tragedy it still stands. Mm. Uh, when um, the, the um, immigrant ship, the Kataraki, st also struck the west side of King Island, drowning 400, 400 um, immigrants, people. 400 wow. people mm -hmm. in that one shipwreck. Lo and behold, three years later, the lighthouse was here and operating, and operated ever since until 1994, till it was decommissioned. Uh, there is still a light from the Cape, and it's in the form of a small... Um, beacon sitting on the ground out the front, which is high enough above sea level in this day and age to um, be seen from the horizon. And it's probably saved a lot of lives as well, so that's been fantastic. The, the amount of lives this light saved is immeasurable. Um, we can, history can tell us the amount of people that drowned in the area or through shipwrecks, etc. Um, but the, the amount of people that actually got through through the gold rush days and the high immigration days of the 50s uh, is sort of um, unbelievable. Mm. Another interesting footnote is that in the 1860s, there was between 50 and 100 ships going past here a day. Wow. So that could put a little bit of that into context. Absolutely, yes. So it's helped save lives.